Yeah, yo, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here and guys, we are back. Today we are talking about HGH, human growth hormone versus testosterone for specifically fat loss. What do you need to know and what do you need to understand? So let's talk about this. Bodybuilding, fitness, athletics. HGH versus testosterone in regards to fat loss. What is essential? What do you need to know? HGH, human growth hormone, is going to rip off body fat like nobody's business depending on the levels, whether synthetic or natural in the blood. So HGH burns fat by two ways, or if you wanna call it burns fat, okay? So the first way, HGH, the HGH molecule will directly, directly attach onto uh, adipose tissue, the cells, the adipose cells themselves. So HGH will attach onto the cells themselves and tell them, hey, it'll bind the receptor, re binds the receptor and tells them, hey, release your stored fatty acids. So just by HGH levels being, uh, depending on how high the HGH level, the stronger the effect. So direct effect on the fat cells themselves saying, hey, release your stored lipids, your stored fatty acids for fuel, which then your body will suck up and burn uh, as a fuel source, okay? Number two, number two way that HGH rips off and burns fat is the HGH molecule by attaching onto and holding on these receptor sites, not just are you releasing the stored fatty acids, okay, think increasing fat burning, but you're also stopping. You're also stopping or slowing down depending on the dose or how much HGH is present in the blood. You're slowing down or stopping um, uh, the accumulation of fat. So let's say you're eating more fat, you're eating more carbs, whatever. It's actually blocking your body from storing fat just because those receptor sites are binded. So the effect is twofold. One, you're stimulating the release of fat into the bloodstream and you're also stopping your body from putting on fat. And this is why, you know, if you're a 16, 18 year old uh, male with good genetics and high HGH levels as you should, What's gonna be happening, guys? You're, you're gonna be able to eat a lot of garbage and not get fat, and this is why when guys get older, they get into college, you know, and they get into college, and the HGH levels are about a, you know, they're down uh, a third lower, and also they're drinking alcohol and not sleeping enough. Guess what? They're gonna be putting on tons of fat, and they're not gonna be able to get away with eating the same way they were eating before. So that's that's in regards to human growth hormone. And one, one more side point I wanna cover, which is probably important to cover, uh, just for all of you guys out there watching this, you'll wanna know this, pay attention. HGH also increases your overall uh, metabolic level. Okay, so depending on how much HGH is in the bloodstream, what's gonna be happening is yes, it converts into IGF-1, but that part is not as important as needing to know this. HGH is binding to fat, or HGH is binding not only to fat like we talked about, but it is binding to uh, body tissues, organs, uh, ligaments, joints, muscle tissue. I know that's what we're interested in. And by binding these tissues, it's telling repair, recover, and what? Replicate, okay? So it, let's take the skin, for example. When HGH levels are higher, you're getting more binding to the skin. Your skin is, is there for what? It's being replaced faster, okay? So when you're younger, it's common, obvious knowledge that your skin cells are being replaced faster when you're younger. Why? Because of human growth hormone levels. So you have less wrinkles, your skin looks nicer, it's healthier, such and so forth. And the same can be true uh, of muscle tissue and other tissues in the human body. So that's one important thing to note, guys, because this effect is happening uh, systemically. And what's going to be happening is, um, just because of this effect going on, an uptick in metabolism. And this is the third component with HGH and fat loss. Okay, I've made this too long already. Let's cover testosterone and we'll get out of here. So this is how HGH works for burning fat. And the effect is huge. HGH rips off body fat like nobody's business. Okay, what do you need to know now, guys, as far as um, testosterone? Let's talk about testosterone. How does testosterone burn fat? Testosterone only burns fat directly in one way. What is that? Testosterone will convert into DHT, dihydrotestosterone, via the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, okay? So testosterone's floating around, gets gra grabbed by this enzyme, converted into DHT. DHT has very little or minor uh, 
little minor very small effect on what muscle growth however dht binds and you know gives us dark hair gives you your drive energy strength uh, such and so forth and also dht will guess what bind directly directly to the fat cell and also tell the fat cell to release lipids or fatty acids for what for energy in the same way hgh now this effect is not as pronounced it's not as strong okay as hgh but nonetheless depending on your dht levels you're going to uh release um depending on the dht levels you're going to release uh fat and this is why men with forgetting hgh levels men with higher uh testosterone it typically means higher DHT. So men with higher testosterone and DHT levels are going to uh, be leaner and burn more fat. Why? Because DHT has a direct effect on those fat cells. Now, let's let's cover this. Uh, indirect way that testosterone burns fat is by doing what? Increasing, uh, you know, muscle protein. It's going to increase muscle mass by a lot, right? Bind to the muscle cells. Uh, create hypertrophy such and so forth faster metabolism because of that it's gonna allow you to burn more fat But like I said testosterone besides that has a direct effect on the fat cells themselves through DHT Now last thing we need to cover guys. Let's summarize this video for you guys HGH versus testosterone All right What is the fat burning look like with HGH the sky's the limit? Okay, if you have if you have HGH to the top of the normal range you're gonna rip off fat like nobody's business. You're gonna be a lot leaner, okay? HGH has a major, a huge effect on fat burning, and this is why, unfortunately, this compound is abused a lot because people have figured out that if they take tons and tons of HGH, they can get away with eating almost anything. I don't advise that, okay? You know, do everything safely, uh, you know, legally under doctor supervision. If you wanna put your HGH to the top of the range, using my clinic, Prometheus HRT, do that with either synthetic HGH or peptides. That's fine, but once you say I'm gonna take, you know, five, 10 times what a normal male has, you're gonna run into other issues. I've talked about this in HGH Unleashed. Go watch that video if you want. Talking about testosterone. Testosterone is going to have more of a, a minor effect, okay? Let's say you have testosterone levels top of the range. You're gonna have higher DHT, and also creatine can increase DHT levels, or not can, it does in studies. Uh, so creatine that's why another reason why creatine is good for fat burning whether natural or enhanced uh last thing i want to say is um so testosterone major on fat loss testosterone more of a minor effect but there still is a direct effect of fat burning so comparing these two hgh major fat burning boom huge testosterone minor to maybe medium depending on um your genetics and also how much you're taking guys set spartan stay safe stay healthy Keep the questions coming and we are out of here.